this is an explanation of the difference between pointwise convergence and uniform convergence. I'll be mainly talking about intuition here, uh, but a small part of the technical definition of pointwise convergence will also pop up. So in fact, let's get at that first. Um, uh, in the, the textbook, it talks about it's pointwise convergent if f sub n of x naught converges to f of x naught for all x naught belonging to whatever the domain is. Um, the way to think about this is let's look at uh, the sequent x squared over n, which equals, when n equals 1, I get x squared, then I get x squared over 2, I get x squared over 3, da 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 da. So, and let's suppose that x naught equals, I don't know, 2. Then, if I look at f, oh, by the way, this notation we typically call f sub n. So if I look at f sub n of x naught, like just up here, I get the sequence f sub n of 2, which equals, uh, f, well, just plug in, plug in, in 2 into each of these, and I get 4. 4 over 2, 4 over 3, 4 over 4, etc. Then the question is, does this converge to um, f of x naught? Uh, clearly this converges to 0. And in fact, this thing converges to the function 0. Uh, should just be 0, where, again, the graph is just the x-axis. That's what I mean by the function 0. And it's going to co converge pointwise. And I'm going to show you an animation of both this of this sequence, which converges pointwise but not uniformly. And then I'll com compare it to a uniform convergence, which is sine nx over n. So first, let me show you a graphic of uh, an animation of what happens to x squared over n. So where are we? I'm not really sure where we are. Okay, I found it. So now I'm looking at x squared over n, and this is an animation. Here is n equals 1, n equals 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, n equals 1, so on and so forth. And look what happens. You can almost think of uh, the prab, right? It's, this here is just a sequence of parabolas, and the parabolas are kind of unfolding out to the x axis. Now, it's important to remember that these are all generally parabolas. x squared over n is a parabola, so they will shoot up to infinity uh, as you go to the right and the left towards infinity. So even though these are going to, going to zero, there's always a part of it that's going to stick up. So what happens is, is you kind of go to zero and you work your way out, but there's always kind of the, this tail on either side, the far left or the far right, that's going to be going up to infinity. But at each individual point, eventually it will be be very close to zero. So that's a def that's kind of what pointwise convergence is. Is yes, every single point is going to uh, you're going to get really close to the x-axis every single point. But there's probably always some other point off that you care about that's going to be uh, way far away from the x-axis. So every point gets it eventually, but it doesn't all happen at the same time. Let's compare that to uniform convergence. Uniform convergence, like sine of nx over n, as you'll see in just a second, everything is going to converge at the same time. By the way, this goes to also the function 0, the x-axis. So they have the, same, they have the same limit. But this is going to go uh, uniformly. So here's, uh, here's uh, uniform convergence. And look, again, n equals 1 up to 50. Look how the entire graph is shrinking at the same time. You don't have any tails that are going way up anything like that. Everything gets small at the same time. So this is what happens. This is how you're supposed to think of uniform convergences. It all kind of happens together for the most part. Uh, to contrast that with this, look, what we have here is, look, this is all behaving here, all this close to zero, but this parabola is going up this way, so not everything is behaving at the same time. So that's the basic intuitive idea of what the difference between pointwise convergence and uniform convergence. 